We're standing here in front of the Franz House of the Toledo Art Museum, which has just recently been acquired by the museum and will now be in history called the Toledo Franz House. A very important piece in the career of Franz Haus, one of his first, so not the first, family group portrait he made uh, around 1620, 25. And you see here how a family, a Dutch family, uh, presents itself very realistically and arranged according to certain formal uh, formal procedures. The eldest boy close to the father, the eldest daughter close to the mother, and then the younger children uh, going down uh, towards the right, and the last child in front uh, added later by the painter Salomon de Braai. Hals was a very spontaneous painter and he was mostly already in 17th century appreciated for his afterlife effect in his painting. So people looked really lifelike and he cr could create that by uh, very quickly uh, painting them and with rapid touches find the individual expressions in their faces, also giving the figures very natural uh, gestures. So the gesticulation is not artificial or uh, very cumbersome like in Italian painting or in uh, earlier Mannerist painting. It's natural and free-flowing. Hals, therefore, is a different type of artist who uh, approached his subject very openly and uh, Anna did not go to deep analysis about what they were or what they uh, wanted to be. He expressed what he saw and he put on the canvas what he saw. Opposite to Rembrandt, who is a much more ambitious artist who tried to uh, even outdo himself by uh, doing more complicated and more uh, thought out uh, uh, compositions, especially Italianate, uh, Italian influences, Italian uh, uh, art as examples for his, his work and uh, Hals is much more natural and much more down to earth than Rembrandt ever was. Rembrandt of course being uh, uh, having a big studio with lots of uh, pupils and being very difficult to study what is authentic, what is really Hals, uh, what is really Rembrandt, what is really uh, studio because he was mass-producing art. Hals, on the other hand, worked for a small group of Harlem uh, citizens, uh, which at that time had 40,000 inhabitants, uh, different social groups, uh, the region patricians, the uh, merchant class, uh, the Mennonites, the Roman Catholics, the Calvinist ministers, visiting scholars, uh, visiting family members of other Harlem patricians, people who had a country estate outside of Harlem, they all came to Hals only because he had the reputation of being able to represent people in such a life-like fashion. That made his name and that was his success and still today we can grasp and see and enjoy what a great artist Franz Hals was because of the liveness of his figures, the liveness of the expression in the faces and the liveness of the uh, gestures that people have in the paintings which are very natural and very lifelike.